Next, a new report from U.S. intelligence finding that China misled the world about how bad the coronavirus outbreak was while also stockpiling face masks and other medical supplies. It comes after an earlier intelligence report that says China has never revealed their real numbers of infections and deaths. ABC's Rachel Scott has more. Tonight, tensions between the U.S. and China escalating. U.S. intelligence officials now accusing China of deception, saying they hid the growing nature of the coronavirus crisis. A report from the Department of Homeland Security obtained by ABC News says, quote, the Chinese government intentionally concealed the severity of COVID-19 in early January while it stockpiled medical supplies. The report claims they increased imports and decreased exports, choking off supplies to nations in dire need. Homeland Security analysis shows China sent 48% fewer gloves, face masks down 71%, and exported 45% fewer ventilators. While the report says this started in early January, on the 14th, the WHO released a tweet saying China sought no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. U.S. intelligence officials say the Chinese government attempted to hide its actions by denying export restrictions and delaying its trade data. Just last week, President Trump attacked China for not doing more when the outbreak began. We are not happy with China. We are not happy with that whole situation because we believe it could have been stopped at the source, it could have been stopped quickly, and it wouldn't have spread all over the world. And Tom, Chinese officials are pushing back against allegations that they were slow to respond or covered up details about the outbreak. A spokesperson says America should stop shifting the blame and instead focus on ways to contain the virus in the U.S. Tom? Rachel, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.